What's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Throw Lab Unboxing. Today we have another special one for you. Uh, this one is the One Drop Wizard, uh, the, which is the signature model for Will Pratter. Uh, super excited to get this one off the ground and out of the box. I've had this actually on my to-do list for way too long. I've had this box unopened for about a week now. Um, but just been trying to find the time to get get to this video. But anyway, gang, let's get this open. Let's let's uh, we'll talk specs. We'll throw it around a little bit. Give some first impressions and let you all know what the wizard is all about. Let's go. Paper. A little sticker in there. Okay, done with the box. Toss it out over the back. We'll get to, we'll get to that later. Uh, it did come with a little one drop sticker. This is actually super cool. Uh, okay, here we go. Get get a little nice graphic up on the uh, box art. Super cool. Uh, I love the name of the wizard. I'm real big into uh, D and D and uh, I think wizards are super rad. So as you can see, I got the uh, like the gold colorway. So let's get this out of the box and then we'll talk specs and uh, see what we think. Very cool. It comes pre-strung. That's actually, it's actually one of the first yo-yos in a long time that's come pre-set up with a string on it. So, you know, whereas I usually would uh, throw the string box out and go get a string of my own interest. I'm gonna keep this string on there just to kind of give an, like an overall experience of what this yo-yo is. So here is the yo-yo, it's an organic shape. It's, I wouldn't quite call it oversized, but it's, it's not too big, it's not too small. It's certainly not an undersized yo-yo. Um, as far as a comparison, here's a Turner Return Tops buoy. So if you wanna sit them next to each other, Almost fairly comparable um, as far as overall shape. The diameter is definitely a little larger um, on the wizard than on the buoy, um, and but they're about the same height. Actually, maybe the buoy is a little taller. Um, either way, I'm really excited about this organic wizard here. So let's quickly talk some specs about this yo-yo. This yo-yo comes uh, weighs in at only 64.1 grams. It's kind of even in the description here on OneDrop OneDropYoYos.com uh, website, it states that this is like deceptively heavy but super light and nimble. Uh, most of all, it comes with a very fun performance. So, um, you know, for anyone who follows me on Instagram, I'm a big proprietor of the motto "Do What's Fun." So as soon as I saw something that you know fun was really incorporated into the uh, play of this yo-yo and design of this yo-yo, I had to have one. Uh, but anyway, so the weight is 64.1 grams, width is 45.2 millimeters, diameter is coming in at 59.9 millimeters, they're using the one drop flow groove um, response pads, the overall gap width is a 4.7 millimeter, size C stainless bearing, it's the one drop 10 ball bearing uh, in this yo-yo, it's a 6061 aluminum, uh, so super excited. It feels good. Um, I really like the shape of it. It's gonna feel great in the hand. Um, it might be my, one of my largest uh, organic yo-yos that I have owned to date, but I really, really enjoy everything about it, what's, what it has going on so far. So let's throw this yo-yo, let's see what we think. Let's see how fun it is, um, and then jump back into the video to uh, kind of walk through my first impressions. All right, let's go. Super smooth off the first throw there. Um, absolutely crystal clean, no vibe whatsoever. Really enjoying how it's spinning so far.
All right, we're back. Uh, so, a few things. Really, really, really enjoy this yo-yo. I think it absolutely uh, crushes it for its fun performance characteristic that Will wanted in this yo-yo. Um, I will say that halfway through my uh, play session, I did swap out the box string that it came with for some Sochi fat. I just felt like whatever string they packaged it with was a little bit too thin for my liking, a little bit too coarse. Um, and just didn't hold string tension well, but hey, it's box string. We almost never use it here. So I rec definitely recommend playing with whatever string is most comfortable to you. But as far as it goes, uh, that string's not bad string. It's just not my preferred type of string. But string aside, because that's not what we're here for, this yo-yo is actually super fun. Um, I was worried that it was going to feel a little bit too big in the hand, but it plays really, really nicely. It's super floaty. It was able to catch nearly anything I was tossing at it. Um, would I recommend this yo-yo? Absolutely. If you if you have smaller hands, maybe it's not going to be for you. It is slightly a bigger yo-yo than what I'm used to holding on to. But I think it's a great everyday type. Maybe not everyday carry because this is definitely not going to fit too well in your pocket. But if you got a bag with you, something that you want to bring out that's just overall just a showstopper type piece, because you put this out anywhere, this is a, such a beautiful looking yo-yo that anyone's going to compliment on it, I, at least I think so. Um, and the price point was fairly reasonable. I definitely think it's worth the, the purchase, uh, just to be certain. Uh, I'm going to go back over here. Uh, it's currently retailing at $62. It is a mono metal. $62 for a beautiful, um, not oversized, but but slightly bigger than normal size uh, organic yo-yo. Is this worth it? I think so, absolutely. So yeah, I mean, go uh, shout out to OneDrop for being one of the few um, American-made still uh, CNC'd uh, yo-yo companies out there. Everything they do is, is awesome. It's, it's interesting to see one of their yo-yos without side effects. Usually a lot of their, a big key uh, thing of one drop is all of their side effect options where it's that little piece in the center that you can always remove to change the weight of the yo-yo. But regardless, I think this is phenomenal. Uh, one drop, you, you never, you never cease to impress me. I have a few other of your yo-yos and uh, just keep doing what you're doing. I, I absolutely love it. If I ever got a chance to come out to uh, Oregon and visit the shop, I absolutely would love to. Um, but hey, let me know in the comments below. Did the wizard catch your eye? Did you want to do? Did you want to uh, also try to do some magic here um, with the wizard? I think Will Pratter said alone that creating your own magic is easy with the wizard, and I genuinely believe that's possible. Um, if you if you're out there just trying to have some fun, I think this is a great pickup for you. Hey, and if you're new here to the channel, if you maybe stumbled across my this video, maybe you were just searching for reviews. Um, welcome, thank you for being here. Be sure to like the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more content. Um, as always, you can find me on Instagram at do what's fun. Lots of stuff over there as well. Um, anyway, gang, thank you for being here. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you in the next one.